Hey Dreamers, I'm Bryce and I have no idea what my favorite Metallica song is. Could it be Phantom Lord? Let's find out. Cue that intro! So Ted, give it to me now! For the best Metallica song! Hey! Phantom Lord. I gotta be honest with all of you, of all the songs off of this record, Phantom Lord probably gets skipped the most for me. But I'm going to try my best to rate it with new, fresh ears. Haven't heard it in a long time, so maybe we'll get something new out of it. I can't grade it based off of my old biases. I can only grade it with the following criteria. Lyrics. And then we've got instrumentation. We have composition. We have memorability and emotional response. So let's see if a new look at the song will give it any more points than I would have maybe given it in the past. Let's do this thing! Oh, we got a cool like synth opening. I'm gonna pull up the lyrics here. Okay. It kind of goes up to another. This kind of makes it that that rise kind of brought it almost like a major feel. It doesn't feel like the first one. Bam, 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 ba, 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 ba. It feels very much like the the Phantom Lord is entering the premises. Ooh, but then when it went up, it kind of went like, oh, it's not so bad. It's not so bad having this guy here. Okay, a hold. Okay, cool. Uh, the riff is kind of neat. Uh, again, it feels very major uh, f to me. Instead, of, it's not. It doesn't have that minor grit. It's got like a do 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 do. Very motor breath uh, again. Just like um, or uh, yeah, yeah. Very motor breath feeling. Mo motor breath. It just feels like it's in sort of a major key, it feels like happier. It doesn't feel like it has the grit. That intro felt very evil, and now it's kind of like da 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 It was really cool hearing that guitar, the squeal uh, before the drums came in, uh, but I'm not sold so far on this song feeling like the title, so. Mm. We got nice and thrashy. Okay, all right, all right. Taste of leather on your lips. We've got that ride symbol again, so once more, just lots of ride symbol on Kill 'Em All. It's just very intriguing. Um, I've never, uh, you know, I've talked about this before, young James. <laughs> I've never really been into that screamy thing, and that's kind of, I think, what turns me off of this. The, the, this is like, the, this is the chorus of the song. Hear the cry of war, louder than before, with his sword in hand to control the land. Crushing metal strikes on this frightening night, fall onto your knees for the Phantom Lord. There's not really a rhyme there. There's not really a hook. Um, I don't really know. I don't know. It's really just hokey. Da, 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 da. It's not like catchy. There's so much going on. It's kind of, this feels like a filler song to me. And I know I said I was going to try to treat this without bias, but it already, it uh, like the, the riff is cool. I'm trying to look at this from a positive, uh, positive perspective. The riff is cool. The drums are fast, uh, but the the words aren't doing it for me, and the melody is just kind of da da da. It's a, it's not interesting. Oh, okay. There was like there was this. I want to go back to that. That was kind of an interesting like stop. Oh. Okay. There's a weird rhythm there. Back to the main riff. You got the hi hats for this part of the riff. Ooh, he's up a little high. Or was he this high for the first verse? Okay, we're 
back to the back to the oh, one more time. You know what I think what's doing it or what's not doing it for me is the ride cymbal. It's so ping 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 ping. It's cutting through so heavily that I can't actually hear the snare drum that well. Kind of kind of putting me off. I want to hear the I want to hear more drums in this song is what I want. I, I'd like to go back and listen to a live version and see if that see if that's done any differently. Similar solo, similar solo riff. We got some toms. Okay, we got the riff is in a different part. Oh, okay. Okay, we got a little interlude. Okay, I like that. I like that slowdown. That was cool. That that makes up for the earlier part of the song. This this is actually this is the coolest part of the song. I really like that. Bum bum bum. This is I the thumbs up for that. I like this. That changes it up. It'd be nice if it. Uh, it'd be nice if it didn't take so long to get a cool part in there. This is really. Neat. We've got the clean guitar still on the ride cymbal. You can feel them uh, starting to kind of go towards what they'll eventually get to fade to black and one and all of their longer and thematic like clean to distorted kind of building riffs. This is kind of a nice break. This is, this is cool. Oh, and then it just, just going to hard build right back into it. Huh? Okay, so we had sort of, we were kind of breaking the time, bah, bah, bah. felt like very, um, when the toms were coming in, that felt very like, oh, the Phantom Lord is coming, right? Here it comes. And then now we're kind of just back to that same earlier riff with another solo. Um, again, this transition didn't do it for me. This is kind of a, kind of an unearned transition. the first riff. So they're A, B, A, B. There's a call and response, the rhythm guitars. Da, da, da. Solo, 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 solo. Da, da, da. Solo, solo. That's cool. Okay. Okay. Cool. Solo. They, they had a nice stop so that the solo could kind of finish its thing. I like when, when, when the rhythm is going and then there's a hard stop and it leaves room for just one instrument to go, hey, remember me? Uh, even though it was there the whole time. That's kind of cool, some drum stuff. Uh, the, the rhythms in the song are kind of goofy, but I don't know, it's all right. Back to the chorus. Okay, same riff. Okay, it will slow down. We got a trash can ending. All right, all right, all right. Is he gonna do the, the classic bars? Oh. Okay, one more time through that riff. Just a reminder, this is what it sounded like. All right, well, it's interesting listening to this with a new set of ears. Um, let's get to the writing.
Lyrics. What the hell is this song about? Well, it's about the Phantom Lord, <laughs> I guess. Some Phantom Lord, something about leather, metal spikes, sound of war, crying, dying pains. Look, I've said this before. I don't really get into the the macho type like, oh, watch out, blah, 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 they're going to come for you. Ooh. Um, I did say before that I like songs that go outside of the I love you and I hate you and we're awesome. Uh, and so I guess this kind of falls outside of that. But at the same time, we have a very, I want to call it Dr. Seuss rhyme scheme. Uh, and it's really just kind of basic. I feel like this one is definitely filler material. I feel like it sounds like it was written by someone who was on a deadline, someone who was maybe just about to sing it and needed some words. It, it doesn't really do much for me. I haven't researched to see if there's a specific Phantom Lord out there that they're referencing, whether it's the Grim Reaper or some sort of Lovecraftian horror. But for me, there's nothing of this in this lyric or this set of lyrics that is standing out as a, this is a masterful piece of poetry. It just feels like a couple of rhymes. And then I have to dock it even still because of the Phantom Lord is the hook of the Phantom Lord. There's no rhyme to lead into it. The whole song, it's like an A-A-B-B -B rhyme scheme all the way through, except for the hook of the song. And it just kind of, the, the rhythm of that delivery of that hook is so choppy and just goofy. I don't know if I'm giving a one to hit the lights and the four horsemen and jump in the fire. This one, sorry, Metallica, the first zero. Instrumentation, how do they do? Fine, I guess. Uh, there's not much to speak about in the song. They played some fast parts. They played a slow part. Uh, it was really neat to hear that clean section to come down into a new slower riff. So that brings it up a little bit, but it's nothing really to speak of here. So I think I'm going to keep it at a safe baseline of two. Composition. How do they do? I have been saying this over and over and over. The song feels kind of wonky. The chorus kind of doesn't grab me in the way that most of their choruses do. It has this really cool middle section that goes into this clean part, uh, but then it just goes back into the fast stuff. And to me, the clean part was the most, ins the most exciting part of the song. So to take away that clean and go into the fast stuff uh, was kind of a bummer. So I want to give it points for the change-ups, uh, but also there's a lot of unearned transitions and well, it just, I'm sorry, I'm giving it a one. Memorability, how memorable is this song? I'm trying to be positive, you guys, but I just, this is so forgettable to me. There's nothing in the lyrics that stands out. There's really nothing in the music. The music doesn't really fit with the lyrics and I wanna give it points for that middle section, but honestly, I've been listening to this band since I was a young, since I was in probably middle school and I, don't even remember that middle part at all. I completely, this was like a new experience for me hearing it all over again. I completely forgot about that part. So all that to say that for memorability, I'm gonna give it a zero. Emotional response. I know I come into this song with a bunch of bias, already not liking it that much. And so I'm trying to give it credit. There were some fun parts to the song and I did have that boost of energy towards that middle section. And so that lifted me up a little bit, but the song just kind of, ugh, it doesn't, it doesn't do it for me. It started cool and it just kind of fell and it came up just a little bit for that middle and then it just went back down and nothing really hangs on for me. So for that reason, emotional response, one. And so Phantom Lord gets a whopping total of womp womp four points. Yikes. Seventh of seven. And I'm sure it's probably going to keep climbing down the list uh, from here on forward. We have a hundred and some songs to get through. And I know that there's a lot better in their catalog. So unfortunately, this is the down spot for me. If it's down spot for you, then I'm glad we agree. If it's not, tell me below, what points would you give this song? And of course, hit that subscribe button because tomorrow we're coming back with no remorse.
to, to listen to No Remorse. Thanks for watching.